Hello, this is Sharif Abuzid from Abuzid Media, and in this video, I will show you how you can create this amazing uh, header section using the, the free version of Cadence theme, where you can add your logo, menu items, a search icon, plus a call to action or a button where you can direct people maybe to your contact form page or even to something that you are giving for free in, all, uh, in exchange for their contact information, uh, such as an email and their first name. Also, you'll be able to add a phone number to the header section. Uh, so maybe you are a local store and you want people to contact you through phone directly. And also how you can add these um, uh, social media icons so you can ask people to follow you, to follow you in social media. And also you'll be able to add this sticky header um, effect inside your WordPress. All of this will be done using the free copy of Cadence theme. So without any further delay, let me show you how you can do this. So to access the header section options, you go to appearance and under appearance, you choose customize. Once you do this, you will access what's called the customizer section of any WordPress theme. Under the customizer section, you will be able to change a few things inside your WordPress theme, uh, maybe the fonts, the colors, and some other, other options. Uh, how many options you have will depend in the customizer section will depend on which theme you are using and the developers of Cadence theme are very generous they are giving us many options that are paid in some other themes so to change or to customize to customize the header section of Cadence you simply click the header part or button and here you will have or you will access the options of uh, the header section of Cadence Cadence will give us like three rows for to customize for our header section. They are called the top row, the main row, and the bottom row. Most of the themes, I would say like 95% of the websites will be only using what's called the main row inside Cadence. And each row will have like its own options. So you can access the options of the row itself by clicking the gear icon of the row so now you have access to the main row options here you can change the background of the row section um, and some other items we will access now and once you click the gear icon of the top row you'll access the top row um, options as well so, so now to add your logo your um, menu items the search icon the button you need to access them or you can access them through this plus button. Once you click here, you will be able to or you will have access to the logo options, the primary navigation, the bottom, the social icons, search and HTML block. So let's start by adding our logo um, block by simply clicking logo. And as you can see, our logo has been added here. Each block will have its own options, which also you can access by clicking the gear icon of the block. For example, if I click the gear icon of the logo, here I can make many, many changes to the logo part of the website. I can change the maximum width of the logo and can I change it from here and can I change the site title. And also I can under design, I can add some other options here. To add a, um, a menu item, again, you simply click the plus button and here you co we can add what's called the primary navigation. So once you click the primary navigation, as you can see, the menu item will show up. Here are the menu items. If you want to make them like centered, you simply drag and drop them here in the center section of the top or of the main row. Now, as you can see, they are centered now. If you want to access the, uh, the options of the primary navigation, again, you click the gear icon and here you will have access to the options of the gear icon. Here you can change the font size of the uh, primary navigation. If you look at make it bigger, of course, not to this, not this much. Let's make this like 17 pixels. If you like it to be uh, underlined, the, the parts of the, uh, uh, of the navigation to be underlined, you can make it from here standard here and also some other options now to add the button again you click the plus button icon here and search for the button and here the button icon will appear or the button itself will appear now as you can see it's called contact us now if you want to make it to uh, slightly to the left you again you drag and draw it here it will be added slightly to the left as you can see now and here is the button uh, part Again, you click the gear icon here, you will have options uh, to add, uh, you will have options of the button itself 
to change it how it looks contact us maybe you can make it like free download and you can change the background colors under the design here you can change a lot of things the background color the font size the radius the border you can do a lot of things here if you want to add a search icon i think you know now how you can do this you just simply click the plus button the plus icon and you add the search icon and here you will have again a gear icon for the um, search you can make it like default and change the icon size maybe you want it to be like bigger something like this maybe or just smaller so this is how easily you can customize the uh, main row of the header to add something like the call us and add your phone number and maybe the social media icons you simply go to the top row okay and click the plus button and here you can add the social icons this is the social icons if you remember it, they were in the left side of the uh, of the screen you can to add them to the left you simply drag and drop them here now you will find them in the left part of the um, header section to add the links to your uh, social media icons you click the gear icon here if you want to add more icons maybe you have like I don't know, maybe something like LinkedIn, you simply click add social anchor and you search for LinkedIn. That's it. Here, if you want to remove maybe Twitter, you click this arrow and you just remove item. This is how easily you can add and remove social icons. If you want to add the links themselves, you click send social icons and here you'll be able to add the icons of each social media channel. To access, as you can see now, we have been um, logged out or we have moved away from the header section options to access the game you simply click here hover over here you'll be able to access the top row um, section um, settings if you want to access this you just click simply click the uh, edit icon of the social media icon and you will be able to access its own options now to add something like the phone number you click the plus icon and here you choose what's called the html block to access it you click the gear icon again and here you can change maybe you want to change this to be contact us you just click contact us and you add your phone number now it is it will have like a uh, white phone size if you want to change it again you go to the design section and you change it the font color from here and you also can change the font size from this part so now we have added our top row and our main row ports if you want to make it like sticky to make it sticky you again you go back again to the header section of the customizer and to the bottom you will find what's called the sticky header once you click here by default it comes like a set to be no so you don't um by default the sticky header is not um switch it on by default to switch it on you just under the you click the arrow and you choose which part of the header section you want to you want to be sticky if you want only the main row you check yes only main row and now when, um, if we try to scroll down as you can see you'll find only the top row or the main row sorry is sticky if you want to make the um, top row also again you click the arrow and you choose the top row and main row now once we scroll down the top row and the um, main row will be uh, sticky let's you know um, look out from the customizer and see how it looks like inside our live uh, website page so uh, you need to click publish i have already clicked published and you click the um this icon to close it and now if you go down scroll down you'll find that the top um, row plus the main row are um, sticky i don't like the um the view of having the top row scrolling uh, while scrolling uh, sticky so i need to change to change this again you can access this by going just to dashboard or you can simply click the customize a button here it will direct you to the same location of or the same section of the customizer as you can see here so let's again go to the header part and for the stick part let's only choose the main row and click publish and if you scroll down uh, so now the, only the top row is uh, is sticky uh, there is one last tip that you can use is that there is another uh, what's called the bottom row if, if you uh, click like the plus button you will be able to add some other options or even change these options so once you can see now there is called what's called the secondary navigation so this is the secondary navigation so we have how many blocks i think i think seven 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So these seven uh, blocks, you can change them. You can move them between the three rows. I don't, this is another menu. I can add it here if you like, but I just like to remove it. So I just click close or the, the, the delete icon. So it's now uh, deleted. So as I mentioned, th these are the three rows. You can change them. If you like, maybe you change the background of the top row. You just click the gear icon and under design, you can change it to be something, maybe something lighter like this. Of course, in this case, you need to change the color of the HTML part. You if you want to change it. You go to the edit. You click the edit, edit icon and you under design. Let's change this to be something like this to stand out. So this is how easily you can um, customize the header section of Cadence. Hopefully you find this video helpful. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I create similar videos every single day to help you create um, more beautiful WordPress websites. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye for now.